Let's solve some maths Olympiad question papers together. Today we are going to solve class 2 IMO that is maths Olympiad 2022 set a question paper. Are you ready? First section is logical reasoning. Question 1. Select the odd one out. Look carefully. A is Z, B is D, C is I and D is G. And that's so simple. Option C is odd one out because I is the only vowel remaining are consonants. Question 2. Which of the following monkeys is third to the right of fifth monkey from the right end? So first we have to find out fifth monkey from the right end. Let's see. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Z is the fifth monkey from the right end. So now we have to find which one is third to the right of Z. Let's find the right of Z. It is here. And let's find which one is the third monkey. First, second, third. So D is the third to the right of fifth monkey from the right end. Option A is the right answer. Monkey D. Question 3. How many groups of four toy cars each can be formed from the given toy cars? Let's start forming the groups of four, four toy cars. One group, two group. 3 group and 4 groups. So we found 4 groups of 4 toy cars each from these given toy cars. So option B is the right answer. Question 4. If carpenter is related to saw, then in the same way painter is related to? So saw is a tool of carpenter. Same way what is the tool of painter? It is brush. Option C is the right answer. Question 5. Find the missing number if a certain rule is followed either row wise or column wise. Let's first see column wise. And I could find one rule. 18 plus 6 equal to 24. 15 plus 3 equal to 18. Now let's find what we will add in 14 to get 20. It is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I just did the forward counting to get the number and I got... 6. Option B is the right answer. 14 plus 6 equal to 20. Question 6. How many different ways are there for the butterfly to reach the flower? Let's find. I got first. I got second. And I got third. And that is all. Only 3 ways are there for the butterfly to reach the flower. And the right option is option D. Question 7. Which of the following looks like a cone? So easy. We already say this item as cone. That is ice cream cone. Option D is the right answer. Question 8. Study the given pattern carefully and tell the number of guitars in pattern 5. So only 3 patterns are given and we have to find pattern 4 and then pattern 5. Let's see. In pattern 1 there is 1 guitar. In pattern 2 there is 3 guitar. So we added Two guitars, right? So in pattern one, we add two more guitars, we get pattern two. Same way in pattern two, if we add two more guitars, we get pattern three. That is three plus two equal to five guitars. Now in pattern three, we have five guitars. We should add two in that to get the pattern four. Five plus two equal to seven. And now it's the turn of our pattern five. 7 plus 2 equal to 9. So plus 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 2 we have done in each pattern and we got P5. P5 will have 9 guitars. Option B is the right answer. Question 9. Which of the following clocks shows the time 10 minutes to 8? Now 10 minutes to 8 means that it is not yet 8 o'clock. Rather there are 10 minutes left for 8 o'clock which can also be 7.50 right let's find that clock in A it is past 8 o'clock it is 8.20 in B it is 7.10 in C it is yeah so in C it is still to be 8 right and 10 minutes are left so that is our correct option option C is the right answer that shows the time 10 minutes to 8.
Question 10. If bulb is called fan, fan is called torch, torch is called table, then dash gives us cool air. Now first tell me what gives us cool air. It is fan and what are we calling fan over here? It is torch. So option C, torch is the right answer. Moving to next section that is mathematical reasoning. Question 11. The sum of numbers shown by two abacuses is. So first we will see what numbers these abacuses are showing and then we are going to add it. First abacus is having 640. Two. HTO is 642. The second abacus has 323. So let's add this. 642 plus 323 will give us 965. So the right answer is option C 965. Question 12. 8 degrees Celsius more than the temperature shown on the given thermometer is so first let's find what is the temperature shown it is 50 right and in 50 we have to add 8 degree celsius let's do that 50 plus 8 is equal to 58 so we already got our answer that is option b 58 question 13 which of the following shapes is missing in the given figure square so square is there the yellow pillars are square shaped rectangle rectangle is also there the bigger frame is rectangular only circle no we could not find circle because semicircles are there the full circle is not there triangle is also there so option c circle is something which is missing in the given figure question 14 which of the following numbers is not present on the given tree let's see 105 how we'll write 105 it is 105 is it there yes it is there 448 that is 448 is it there no it's not there c is 305 that is 305 it is there and d is 900 it is also there so only option which is not there is b 448 Question 15. Ritik bought the given items. Total amount of money paid by him is. So in this question we have to add the cost of all the items. So that we understand how much total money Ritik paid to buy these items. So let's do the addition. 75 plus 35 plus 50 plus 90. How much it is? It is 250. Option C is the right answer. Question 16. Varun puts 5 cookies in each box for the sale. How many cookies did he use in all to put in 5 boxes? So, there are 5 boxes and in each box 5 cookies are there. So, we have to add 5 by 5 times or we can multiply 5 by 5 also. Let's do that. 5 plus 5 plus that is 10, 5 plus 5 equal to 10, plus 5 equal to 15, plus 5 equal to 20, plus 5 equal to 25. The right answer is option D, 25. Direction for 17 and 18. The given pictograph shows the number of cows bought by four milkmen. Study the graph carefully and answer the following questions. Now, they are milkmen. And then number of cows bought. And each cow stands for two cows. So one pictorial cow is equal to two actual cows. Okay. So let's first see for each milkman how many number of uh, cows uh, that milkman bought. P bought two plus two plus two or two into three. That is six. Q bought two plus two plus two plus two or two into four. That is eight. R bought two plus two. That is four. S bought 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. So 2 into 5 that is 10. Now let's see the question. How many more cows does milkman S bought than milkman Q? So we have to find the difference. And when we have to find the difference, we do the subtraction. Okay. Let's do that. So 
S bot 10, Q bot 8, the difference is 2. Option C is the right answer. Question 18, find the total number of cows that all the milkmen bought. So we have to do the addition of all the cows bought together. Okay, let's do that. 6 plus 8 plus 4 plus 10. Okay, that will give us 28. The right answer is option A, 28. Question 19, if Rashi goes for picnic on every Saturday and Sunday in September 20XX, then how many days will she go for picnic in that month? So, it's very simple. We have to count how many number of Saturdays are there and how many number of Sundays and they are there and we have to add them. Okay, let's start counting from Saturdays. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and how many Sundays? 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, option B, 9 is the right answer. Question 20, what is the weight of one mango? Now here is a balanced beam and when balanced beam uh, here is showing that both the sides are equal. So let's first make that equation. 100 plus 2 mangoes equal to 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 grams. Okay, let's further shorten down. 100 plus 2 mango mangoes equal to 800. When we add 200 plus 200 plus 200 plus 200, we get 800. Okay. Now, let's take out 100 and 100 from both the side of equation. So, 2 mangoes equal to 700. If 2 mangoes is equal to 700, so 1 mango will be equal to just half of 700 and that is 350 grams. So, 1 mango weighs 350 grams. That is option B. Moving to the next section that is everyday mathematics. Question 21. On a bookshelf there are 30 comic books, 45 English books and 18 mathematics books. How many total books are there on the bookshelf? Now in this type of question we have to do the simple addition. Let's add 30 plus 45 plus 18. And the best way to do the addition is put them in H2O columns. Okay. And when we add 30 plus 45 plus 18, we will get 93. Option D, 93 is the right answer. Question 22. Rohit wants to buy the given items. How much money would he need in total? So if I have to buy something, so whatever is the cost of that item, I need to have that much money. So let's add the cost of all these three items and then Whatever amount would be there, that is something which Rohit would need. So, let's put all the ones in the place of ones, all the tens in the place of tens, all the hundreds in the place of hundreds and do the addition. 120 plus 250 plus 310 is equal to 680. Option A is the right answer. Question 23. Ruchi planted some plants in a garden. The number of plants planted by her is more than 340 and has 6 at the tens place. Which of the following cannot be the number of plants planted by her? First of all, it is very clear that she planted the, uh, planted the plants. The number of that is more than 340. So first of all, we will see if there is any option which is less than 340. That is going to be our direct answer because that is something which she did not plant, right? Let's find option A is 368, which is more than 340. B is 568, which is more than 340. C is 864, which is more than 350. And D is 269, which is lesser than 340. So we got our answer. That is option D. Question 24. Kanika is 11 years old and her brother Sahil is 15 years old. How much older is Sahil than Kanika? Again, here is a question of difference. So, when there is a difference, then we have to do the subtraction. So, we will subtract the age of uh, Kanika from the age of Sahil. 15 minus 11 will give you 4. Right answer is option C, 4 years. Question 25. Priya bought 3 juice packs and 2 milk bottles. How much total quantity did she buy? Now, it is uh, shown in the given picture that 1 milk 
bottle is one liter. Okay, and one juice bottle is two liter. Now here, how many juice packs Priya bought? It is three. If one juice pack equal to two liter, how uh, much liter three juice packs would be? It would be two plus two plus two, right? So juice pack. Will be three into two, that is six liters. Then doing the same with the milk bottles. If one is one liter, then two milk bottles would be two liters. Now we have to add this because they are asking how much total quantity did she buy. That would be six plus two, which is equal to eight. Option A is the right answer, eight liters. Now here, kids, please understand they did not ask. Number of boxes. They are asking in liters, right? So you can see that from the options. They are directly asking in liters. That is why we did these type of calculations. Otherwise, it was very different. If they would have asked number of packs, it would have been three plus two, which is five. But they are asking in liters. Question twenty six. Varun saw the given painting in a shop. How many triangles did Varun see? Let's count the triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Option B, seven is the right answer. Question twenty-seven. A wildlife park had three eighty, three fifty elephants, out of which thirty-five elephants were sent to zoo. How many elephants were left in the wildlife park? So we have to find what is left. So we have to do the subtraction. So three fifty minus thirty-five is equal to 315 so our right answer is option b 315 question 28 amit's school was closed for 5 days every day he did two fun activities based on mathematics how many total activities did he do during the holidays let's find that how we'll find we will add two for each days and how many days are there five days right So either you can do five into two, that is equal to ten, or you can do two plus two plus two plus two plus two, that is also equal to ten. So right answer is option B, ten. Question twenty nine. A tank contained seventy two liters of water. Shikha drained forty seven liters of water through a tap from the tank. How much water is left in the tank? Again, it's a subtraction because they are asking how much is left. What is the difference? So we have to. Do the subtraction seventy two minus forty seven, and the right answer here would be twenty five. Option A twenty five is the right answer. Question thirty. Unwrap you the given shape. How many corners are there in the given shape? Let's count the corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. In total, there are twelve corners. Option A, twelve is the right answer. Moving to the next section, that is the achievers section, and it holds double marks for each question. Question thirty-one. Fill in the blanks and select the correct option. Now, before we select any option, let's find PQR. I mean, we have to find the time shown in PQR. Now, P is seven thirty. Q is Four ten and R is five fifty and we can call it other way also. I'll tell you what seven thirty is also called as half past seven. Now let's see which option has P half past seven. Option B and C both have half past seven. So the competition is between B and C. Q is also called as ten minutes past four. Let's find. Between B and C, which option has Q for ten uh, past four, and that is option C. So we already got our answer. That is option C. But let's verify R also. It is ten minutes to six. Means six is still not uh, there. There are ten minutes left for six o'clock. Option C is the right answer. Question thirty-two identified the three-digit numbers. The digit At tens place is two less than the digit at ones place. Okay, so first we have to find the ones place digit, right? Then only we can do that. The digit at ones place is the greatest one-digit number, and the greatest one-digit number is nine. 
because after that 10 comes which is two digit number okay so at the place of ones let's put nine now we can solve the tens also the digit at tens place is two less than the digit at one place so nine minus two is equal to seven we got digit at tens place now the last one the digit at ones place is four more than the digit at hundreds place that means the digit at hundreds place is four less than the digit at ones place so nine minus four will give you digit at hundreds place and that is five we got our answer the answer is option c 579 Question 33. Read the statements about the given figures carefully and select the correct option. A. Number of slanting lines in figure P is 7. Let's count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is not correct. This is incorrect statement because there are 8 slanting lines and they are saying there are 7. B. Total number of horizontal lines in both the figures is 15. Now we have to count the horizontal line in both. Let's start with B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. So in total there are 17 horizontal lines. Whereas B is saying 15, so it is also incorrect. C, number of vertical lines in figure Q is 0, which is absolutely correct. There is no straight line, straight standing line, straight standing vertical line in figure Q. So we got our answer. Answer is option C. That is number of vertical lines in figure Q is 0, which is correct. Question 34. Which of the following thermometers show the difference between the temperatures as shown in the given two thermometers? So first we have to find the difference between X and Y, right? That is going to be 90 minus 60 because Y shows 90 and X shows 60 and 90 minus 60 is equal to 30. Now we have to find between among A, B, C and D which one gives us 30 and the right answer is option B. Moving to question number 35, select the incorrect option. A, the number 810 is same as 800 and 110, which is absolutely correct because at the place of uh, 100, it is 8 and at the place of 10s, it is 1 and at 1s, it is 0. So it is 800 and 110 which is correct. B. The smallest three digit number is 100 which is absolutely correct Be because before uh, 100 99 comes which is two digit number. So the starting of three digit number starts with 100 and that is the smallest three digit number. C. 580 is greater than 59 tenths. So how do we write 59 tenths? 59 tenths is equal to 590 right and 580 is not greater than 590 rather 590 is greater than 580 so option c is incorrect option let's see the d the place value of the digit 9 in 593 is 90 absolutely correct because it is 9 tenths so this is correct so option c was incorrect and that is our right answer with this we have successfully solved class 2 IMO that is Mathematics Olympiad 2022 set a question paper. I hope you loved solving the question paper with us. Do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done. There are IMO papers for class 1 also. So if anyone of you looking for the class 1, go ahead and check out the Olympiad exam playlist. We will be posting many more mathematics Olympiad previous year question papers. So stay tuned and solve with us. Do not skip the video. Bye bye and happy learning.